Hey there and welcome to another YouTube video from Databits. Thank you guys, it's been a while. Sorry for the length of time between my last video. It is a cool winter day here in November and I'm sitting here in my 2013 Kia Soul ready to show you something new. Now the Databits channel, we try to stay in touch with old tech but attempt very much to be in touch with new technology as well. And that's what we're looking at here. This is this car paride. It is a video screen for your vehicle. And it's also a companion to your phone, whether you have an Apple or an Android, it's gonna be a wonderful companion for your phone and an extra large screen display that you have in your vehicle. Now, my 2013 Kia Soul does not have anything spectacular in it. Um, you can see that I have traditional dials here on this side, and I have a Pioneer radio that I put in myself, which does not have CarPlay. But yet, this device right here is going to take me to the next level while I'm traveling. So let's open this box, see what's inside, and then demonstrate this immaculately amazing screen to you. Imagine a TomTom -tom or a Garmin with extremely wide screen capability, but this is not a TomTom -tom or a Garmin. It's really just a companion, as I said, for your phone. You can see here we have uh, camera in, we have audio out, we have a USB port, and then we have a USB-C port there. Over here you can see a, a very small SD card, micro SD card input as well as a microphone input right there on the end. So very cool, very solid piece of equipment right there, okay? So let's put that aside just momentarily and then take this out. I've already ravaged the inside of it here, so it's not gonna be quite as neat and clean as it will be when you buy one, if you decide to buy one. So this is the camera that's included with it. So you can wire up a back uh, backup camera if you would like. You have a three and a half millimeter audio cable, which you can use to connect this device to a car stereo that only has uh, this type of input on it, an auxiliary input. We have a base that you can put on your dash to stick this unit to the dash. And then we have this piece here which again is a dash mount for this thing. So if you have a one of those rare people that have a flat dashboard, then you could install this little unit here on your dash, stick it on there with this self-sticking adhesive, and uh, you'll be ready to go. I decided to attach this to my front windshield, so I'll show you that here shortly. Here is the owner's manual. And as you can see here, it is a 2.5 HD touchscreen. It is 11.3 inches wide, I guess diagonally. Portable wireless car stereo works with CarPlay, Android Auto, Mirror, Bluetooth 5.0, TF Audio, FM, Siri, GPS. Okay, so very, very helpful manual that'll walk you through the process of getting this set up and how to use it. But, you won't need to read the manual because you're watching this video. So let's go ahead and get it mounted on the windshield here and uh, we'll go from there. This is the sticky part here that suction cups to your windshield. And then you've got an adjustable knob here so that this little part here can move in and out just to get the exact right angle that you like. And of course the screen snaps on to this piece right here. So let's go ahead and get that attached. As far as connectivity goes, all I need to do is plug in the 12 volt USB-C power connector right here. And then I can turn this around, display it the way I'd like. And there's what it's gonna look like sitting on your dash. And then again, from there, they've supplied this adapter to plug into your lighter socket. So let's plug that in there and we'll see the unit power up. And you can see my hand right there. Isn't that cool? It does boot up rather quickly, which is quite nice. Let's take a tour of the home screen here. So starting in the lower left, we've got a brightness control here. We've got our clock, both digital and analog display. 
Got a volume up and down here. Got a help button there, I think. What does that say? Thanks for using this product. If you have issues, problems, feel free to contact us, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's your, <laughs> there's your help. Uh, here's the uh, home screen, which is this again. Uh, what does this thing do? What is that part? I think that is a brightness setting. Oh, it's a background setting. Look at there. So as we press that, it is toggling a little wallpaper back here. Going across the top, we have our iPlay, which is your uh, Apple CarPlay, uh, A Auto, which is your uh, Android, AirPlay, which I would assume is just playing music through this thing, not video, um, Auto Link. I'm really not sure what this is. This application is for wired iPhone or Android phone screen mirroring. Well, looky there, I have not tried that yet, but uh, okay, so I guess if you get this app, you would uh, be able to mirror your screen to it. We got an EQ setting right here, so you can actually set the audio to your liking, and there's a loudness control here, right there. Now, I wanted you to keep in mind that this is an input and output device, but it is not a car stereo, all right? It is really just a smart screen for your car. Um, it has the capability of bringing stuff in to it and then sending it back out. My recommended setting would be to pair your phone to the screen and then also pair your phone to your car. So your phone actually has the capability of playing the Android audio to this screen and then sending the audio to your car as well. You could try to pair this with your car, but in my experience, uh, it did not work that well. It likes to play with your phone specifically. Um, if you do want to transmit it back out to your vehicle, you can try that here. So you can do a Bluetooth transmit or FM transmit there. Now the FM transmit is exactly what you would think it is it's going to send the audio through your FM radio of your car. So even if your car is ancient, you could still use this with it as long, of course, as it has an FM radio inside, right? So imagine that, if you just have a car with an FM radio, oh, you have really upgraded, okay? So uh, anyway, there, that capability is there, but I did have some difficulty with it. I thought that it would be better to just put it with, uh, Again, pair your phone to this and then also pair your phone to your car. All right, if your car has Bluetooth. If your car does not have Bluetooth, again, you can transmit it over FM or you can hook up the 3.5 millimeter plug to the side and run that into the auxiliary end of your car. And if your car doesn't have that, this has a built-in speaker on it. So if you're just listening to turn-by-turn -turn directions, this unit will actually broadcast it itself um, and of course, since it's right against the windshield here, the audio hits the windshield and bounces back to you, which is kind of nice. All right, so uh, down here, we do have the Bluetooth. Okay, so it says, while iPlay is working, which I've already got Apple CarPlay connected to it. Uh, USB, so you could hook like a, a, a flash drive to it uh, that has photos or music, probably just music. I don't know, maybe it'll play photos. Haven't tried that. Here is our micro SD card input there. And then we have some settings over here. So we've got language, time, device speaker. So you can say, hey, I wanna use the internal speaker, yes or no, system version, okay? So in case you get one of these and you're wondering which version you had versus this one, I'll leave that up there for a second for you to see that. So what does this little car thing do? All right, so we got video warning, park line, park line setting, rear camera mirror. So this is all having to do with the video input for your rear camera. Um, I don't know how it would know that you've put the car in reverse to be able to display the, the camera, but maybe it's a manual process. Not sure about that. Uh, you can connect to this unit via Wi-Fi, via the Wi-Fi setting right there. Uh, let's see, and then you can say Android wired link, iPhone wired link. So maybe you could hook your phones to this thing uh, through the wire, maybe, I don't know, that's a possibility. 
check your owner's manual for more information. Again, the only testing I've done on this unit is, is with Apple CarPlay and with Android Play, and both worked beautifully. Uh, let's see, we've got a setting right here. So here's the phones that I've attempted to connect to it, a Galaxy S22 Ultra, an LG K30, an iPhone, and then this is the unit here, the W1113BT, and then I've also got a, a Galaxy J7 Perks that I also attempted to uh, pair with it. So if you wanna get rid of those, you can just hit these things here. I don't know why that's listed there. That's interesting. Delete the current device. So there's iPhones there and it's showing the capabilities. All right, so we'll return. All right, so we're back home. Now, if, you, if you're ready to get into the CarPlay feature, go ahead and hit there. And voila, here we have Apple CarPlay. Just to give you some idea of size, this is an iPhone 5 in front of the screen, okay? So that's how huge this thing looks with this iPhone 5 sitting next to it, okay? So I've got, I can make phone calls through here. I can play music. I can do maps. I, can, I can't read messages, okay? It will read them to me. So as I'm driving down the highway, Siri will pop up and tell me what my messages are as they come in. We've got a now playing session section here. This takes you back to the previous menu, the home screen of the car parade. Uh, we've got podcasts, news, calendar, settings. And then I've got uh, Google Maps, Panera Bread, Playbooks, Sirius XM, which I just recently, try I'm trying out a, a, a trial version of Sirius XM. Um, Spotify, Waze, and, and Teams, which I use at work. So that's kind of handy, driving around during the work day, say on my lunch hour, <laughs> uh, I can uh, check on my Teams messages from work as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, again, it's very responsive and uh, we're sitting in the middle of a park here. There is a map. You can do the whole screen as a map if you'd like to as well. Very cool. Or I could switch over here to uh, Sirius XM. I could switch uh, my screen modes by pressing this here, depending on what I would like to display or how. See that there? Let's see, I could go here and I could, I don't know, I could hit the dial pad and make a phone call. I could uh, check my voicemail, which I don't have any voicemail. I could check to see my recent calls right there and if I have favorites set up I can just tap on a favorite and go so uh, I could do this I could say hey Siri how are you today I'm fine thanks hey Siri I need directions to Peavely Missouri getting directions to Peavely Starting route to Peavely. Proceed to Charles Earls Drive, then turn left. And this will conclude our video about the Car Per Ride High Definition Monitor for your car, truly a companion for your smartphone. Please leave a comment, a powerful comment in the comments section below. You can follow me on all my social medias. Those are in the description. There's also a link to this device if you'd like to learn more about it, or if you want to buy one, that affiliate link will help me out and support the channel. Thank you for watching again. Have a great day. And uh, I'm going to go do some driving around and listening to some podcasts and uh, getting some help from Siri.
for directions. I'll see you next time.